Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a video on myth busting cheer edition. Hope you guys like this video. The very first cheer myth I heard, even before I went into cheerleading, and before before I start to actually go into the rant and things like that, I want you guys to know that I am a cheerleader. I am on junior varsity, and this would be my second year cheering. So the first rumor is, to be a cheerleader, you have to be skinny. This is a big deal with a lot of girls who either want to go into cheer or it's just one reason for other people to judge, you know? So, to be a cheerleader, you have to be skinny. The only, the only part that is true is it's mainly for the flyers. The flyers are the people that go up into the air. air. We hold them like this, and that's pretty much true for the flyers. Because to be a flyer, you, you for the most part, you have to be lightweight, so it's easier to throw you in the air. But to be a, your standard cheerleader, you do not have to be skinny. The only thing you have to be is you have to be able to do your jumps, kicks, follow the routine, and everything like that. Just because you're big doesn't mean you don't get to be a cheerleader. I'm a good example myself. I'm not exactly big, but I do have some weight. I do have some weight on me. I'm not skinny. So if you want a real life example, here I am. Number two, cheerleaders are always happy and spirited and okay. No, cheerleaders are just like anybody else. The only difference is that they cheer for the school. And at games, for the most part, they have to be happy because they have to show that they're excited to cheer for their team or else they wouldn't be in cheerleading. Cheerleaders are just like anybody else. They get sad, they get depressed, they go through just all kinds of stages, they have home problems, there's all kinds of stuff. So, for, so there's no way they could always be happy. Sure, you might see them always smiling at school or at games and things like that, but you don't know what's going on in their home life. Three, cheerleaders, and this is, this is a big, big one I hear all the time. Cheerleaders are dumb. One main fact I can prove you wrong about anything, any rumor that goes along those lines, to be in cheerleading, you can't be dumb. You have to have a certain grade point average. You can have a D or an F. You can't have that in cheerleading or you'll get kicked out. Over 90% of cheerleaders have at least a B or an A. That means the other 10%, you, they have a C. This goes for high school cheer, all-star cheer, and college cheer for that matter. So to be a cheerleader, you can't be dumb. Four, besides your feet, affect if you can be in cheer or not. The size of your feet matter. This is, I didn't really understand this one when I first heard it, but I'm gonna try to break it down for you guys a little bit. So I don't see why the size of your feet would matter. The only thing is, is that the coach, depending on your foot size, it can matter if you get to be a flyer or not. That's pretty much the only thing it matters in your bases and things like that. But for the most part, why should your foot size why should your foot size matter if you get to be in cheer or not? My shoe size is a size four. And anyone that's in like the UK or just out of the United States, things like that, I won't I'm not completely sure the size converted. But I'll figure that out and put it in the, in the description box below. But I'm a size 4. I'm still in baby size. I'm still in kid size shoes. And I'm 16 years old. So, and I'm, I've been a cheerleader for one year going on two years. If shoe size really mattered, why would I be in cheer? And then there we go. Four. The size of your feet affect if you can be in cheer or not. The size of your feet matter. This is, I didn't really understand this one when I first heard it, but I'm gonna try to break it down for you guys a little bit. So, 
I don't see why the size of your feet would matter. The only thing is, is that the coach, depending on your foot size, it can matter if you get to be a flyer or not. That's pretty much the only thing it matters in your bases and things like that. But for the most part, why should your foot size, oh, there's flies. Why should your foot size matter if you get to be in cheer or not? My shoe size is a size four. And anyone that's in like the UK or just out of the United States, things like that, I won't, I'm not completely sure the size converted, but I'll figure that out and put it in the, in the description box below. But I'm a size four. I'm still in baby size. I'm still in kid size shoes. And I'm 16 years old. So, and I'm, I've been a cheerleader for one year going on two years. If shoe size really mattered, why would I be in cheer? And another thing. <laughs> Sorry, randomness again. And another thing, there's a person on my cheer team with size three feet. Size three. If you really thought shoe size would matter, so many girls wouldn't be in cheer. There you guys go. I really hope you guys like my Mythbusters Myth, Myth cheer edition. Hope you guys like don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, and of course, don't forget to subscribe. Stay strong, be, be beautiful, and of course, be you. So, like I said, hope you guys like this video. I have another video for you guys tomorrow, maybe in a couple days. It just kind of depends on my schedule. And I will see you guys then. Bye.